welcome back to Game Review. To those that are new here, my name is Miami, and today we are going to be reviewing Thimbleweed Park. Anyways, let's begin. Nail really hurts. Hurt myself. The Mooley Park City Limit. Pop 81. L. L. 14. Oh! Change to 80. Part 1 The Meeting. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Hmm. Supposed to meet someone down here. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Uh... I have to go. Sleep well. Oh, click on look at note. Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the trestle trail bridge. Turn off the light above the trestle trail sign so I know you have arrived. Meet me at large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you are not followed. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. I do not see a way to turn it off. I do not see a way to turn it off. The light is turned on and I do not see a light switch. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. No! Oh, that, that's good. There, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step Ooh. four. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. What happened? None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night, or how much it would change us all. So tell me again why you're here. 
I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. There's no film in the camera. Ooh, there's no film. Click on the flashing head icon to switch characters. I see. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. Whatever. I see. Aha. Uh -huh. Smile. Look Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Hey, let's go. All right, let's go, I said. There's to be a man. Oh, okay. Okay. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like giant pigeons? Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there. But remember, signals are very strong tonight. What signals? What signals. The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already say that, but Yes, what you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Eek! Waz! Boop! Heek! Squeak! Heek! The heck? Beep! Heek! Click, click, click! Beep! Go up! I guess you can't. The cell phone has no reception. It's 
Squeak. Beep. 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 Stay quiet. Wait for me. Finally. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violin. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. Finally. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> How long were you going to let that body rot in the river? Well, the river is so chock full of chemicals from the old pillow factory. It's better off there than in a tub of formaldehyde. I guess you're here about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. There's what? nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. Okay. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. Okay, that's weird. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? <laughs> Wow. Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedus. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain a who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Facetron. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Door, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arena. <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Tell us about Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Fascinating. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> And go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. 
Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. It's 2019 now, I my hate friend. this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Raise to-do list. Find the murder weapon. Fingerprint the murder weapon. Get finger Tron report. Find ID for the victim in hotel. Get face Tron report. Take a blood swab from the body. Find suspicious item with blood on it. Get blood Tron report. Put three reports in a restaurant. So first we got to we find... Should, we should go find the sheriff. Ah. Open the door. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the restaurant. Yes, you look exactly the same. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the restaurant. Yes, the restaurant three thousand. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Can Every I have those donuts? Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry, Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck who? Chuck who? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Okay. Agreed. Don't open. Open the door. Then we get out. We leave them in there. Open. No, they're back again, the pigeons. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? I can't get past that water. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Cost what caused the leak? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. What? Pigeons need a... WC-67-2. So we can get through. I can't open it. But we go through here. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. Okay. Diner, that doesn't seem like it could help us. Maybe if we go <laughs> open the dumpster. It's already slightly open. I'm not going to open it anymore. Way too smelly for me.
There's no path beyond this point. I thought we could do something like that. If by look at, you mean smell, I've already done that. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Do you know anything huh? about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. <laughs> Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Flooring inspector. No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. That's not bad. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing, to be a game designer for that awful game company, Mucus Phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish, only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Escape from Thimbleweed Park. Oh, Thimbleberry Pie. Open the door. I mean, good for her, not going for, like, like wanting to do her own, like, like, make video games. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What <gasps> brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. <laughs> Look at that. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Game programmer. Okay. Muggus. Flem Games. Do you have what it takes to become a highly paid game programmer? Mucus Flem Games, the makers of hit games Three Lines of Haze and Pine Jaggy Lines, is looking for quali qual qual qualified, I think, applicants. Just complete and mail in, in this comprehensive programming test, and you could be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable Korean co computer game development. As a MMU Caslet game programmer, imagine the perks, long hours, non-diet soda and pizza, work with people who don't want to get to know you either, work, I mean, 
out of date arcade machines in the wreck area. Watch your parent company's profits grow. Apply today. Use your computer to connect with Mika's Phlegm to apply. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. D Dial in with the modem. Dial with modem and fill out Mucus Phlegm job application. Meldfield, Meldfield, our job. Ah, oh, there we go. Dial in for. Dig oh. in. I mean, she seems nice. Lots of books, but you have to know what you're looking for. Let's see. Through here? Oh, the kitchen! Oh! There's blood on the refrigerator. Oh, I think it's just a clock. The clock. Walk to the hall. Walk to the What is in that room? Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but, um... I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes, you know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8mm point-tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2mm flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. That sounds like the doorbell. I knew it was the doorbell. That sounds like that sounds like the doorbell. Okay, stay, stay silent, please. Oh my gosh, so many doors. Go, go, go to the hall. This person is getting annoyed. That sounds like the doorbell. Okay, silent. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. I will not open it. Oh, wait. I was meant to walk through the store. And I'll open 
the store. Hello, my favorite niece. George delivered this letter for you. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Well, I'll go. Where am I? Maybe I just have to go to my room? Maybe if I... no. Maybe I just have to go to her room. There we go. Use computer. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem really? number. It's connecting. That is an old computer. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? I don't know. Just gonna do this. Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. All of the above. Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Okay. First question. This is an easy one. Next question. Also an easy one. Reference counted. Hmm, a little harder. Ah, debugging is on a second monitor. Last question. Ouch, this is going to take some thinking. Got it! Exclusive ore! Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Yay. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I can't pull that. I can't use that in the Printron 3000. I can't push that. Pick it up. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh. There's no paper in the Printron 3000. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is... There, the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Now use the Printron 3000. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. There we go. Pick up paper. Hmm. I printed my job application, but the page is still blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Maybe we should go over here. No. Oh. Wait, do we have to open? No. Guess we'll open this. Okay, let's see, we'll open this door.
Maybe we should... Maybe we should ask... Maybe we should ask for ink. Hello, my favorite niece. Uh, do you have any... Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Hello, my favorite niece. Uh, I think I should say... I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. Oh. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Now the thing is, look at the shelves. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. Oh, ink bottle. Yes, now go back to your room. Nice. Open this door. It's a full bottle of homemade printer ink, made by me. Oh, that's cool. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. There, the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Now we shall use a computer. That doesn't seem to work. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. There it is! Finally. I always like to watch this part. Whoa! Pick up the envelope. And now what do we have to do? Ah, mail's filled. We have to go to the mail. Go to the mail. Dig in! Nope. Digging? How exciting. I hope I get the job. Five days later around 5 p.m. <gasps> Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh. Good luck. See ya. Digging in the front green. I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel. Let's go into the room. Well, in her room. That'd be really sad if she didn't get the job. Because, I mean, it's her dream job. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Uh, maybe, uh, look at your... It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. How about you? I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Oh. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. 
I'm so excited. Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. No. But first... Oh. <laughs> Moonwalk. Make sure you dance. Marvelous. I've been quiet the entire time. It's because the game is mainly uh, voice a voices and the game already has voices itself. So I'm just trying to listen. Yeah. I don't think you'll be very happy. All right, let's go. I don't think you'll be very happy. <laughs> oh. Hello, my favorite niece. About to be your least favorite. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. Oy. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. Go talk to Dolores. Let's go. Well guys, that's it for game review. Hope you enjoyed. The graphics, they look cool. Like, like pixely 2D. And the audio was cool how they did voice acting. I think it was just the genre of, of the game that I didn't like too much because I'm not into these kinds of games. Like I, like I'm not used to this kind of a genre, but of course if I played this kind of genre more, maybe I would like it more. But uh, but uh, some of you guys who like um, mystery or stuff like that, whatever genre this is about, I forget. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you will probably like it, and yeah. I give it a 7 out of 10. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.